Ladies, gentlemen, and cyborgs, I am Zach Friedman, and this is my weapon. This is the EOX Metabreaker Mark I, the most advanced nerf blaster on Earth. Let me show you its features. <laughs> The Metabreaker is a maxed out nerf rapid strike. We got an MTB Hellcat for the pusher, two more for the flywheels, artifact red cage and flywheels, 3S lipo, 14 gauge wire, aluminum tube and worker extended pusher. Squeeze every ounce of performance out of this blaster. It's got custom electronics that take it to the next level. An NFC reader, microcontroller, two displays, and custom electronic speed controller make this the smartest and most flexible weapon on any nerf battlefield. Allow me to demonstrate. Each magazine has an NFC tag that stores its capacity. That way, whenever I load a new mag, the ammo counter can set itself automatically. Check it out. 25 round drum, 25 darts in the counter. The system also tracks the number of mags in my loadout. If I see that last mag warning, I know it's time to leave the battlefield and top back up. I converted the upper sling mount to two OLED screens and a 3D printed bracket. The top screen shows my remaining ammo, the clip size, the fire system mode, and an inspirational bit of flavor text. The lower screen tracks the mags left in my loadout, my battery voltage and percent, the game time, and a little extra data about the fire system. The ESC is the coolest part of the project. It's got three automotive grade motor drivers, one for each flywheel and another for the pusher. These allow me to precisely control and stop each motor. A big fat heat sink and a low noise fan keep everything chilly. This thing will shoot about 10 darts per second, about 120 FPS. But because I have full software control over the system, I can program in semi-auto, full auto, and bursts of any size. I can set the fire rate to spray darts as fast as they'll come out, or limit it to a more controllable speed. I can have the flywheels rev up automatically, and I can have them come to a complete halt instantly. I've encoded firing algorithms onto these control cards. I simply tap one over the NFC reader, and it completely changes the way the blaster behaves. Here, take a look. Classic mode is just like the factory behavior. You pull the alternate trigger to rev, you pull the main trigger to shoot in full auto. It's kind of boring, but it's classic. The blaster automatically slows the fire rate for the 35 round drum because those won't always feed 10 darts per second. Stealth mode's optimized for HVZ when I want to stay quiet. I pull the alternate trigger to warm up the motors. I pull the main trigger to fully rev the motors and fire a quick two dart burst. When I release the alternate trigger, the dynamic brakes instantly stop the flywheels and kill the noise. Skirmish mode is designed for short, intense games like 315. In this mode, the flywheels are always idling. If I pull the main trigger, it'll rev up and fire in full auto. If I hold the alternate trigger, the main trigger now shoots a quick three-round burst. This was modeled after Soldier 76 from Overwatch, with his helix rockets and full auto, and it really gives me the best of both worlds. Between games, I can lock the blaster with an RFID key to prevent anyone from screwing around with my primary. When I unlock it, it resets the game time and the loadout count, so I'm ready to begin the next round. I could even assign this lock function to an NFC implant or tattoo for maximum cyberpunk badassery. I'm field testing the Metabreaker at the East Coast's most competitive Nerf Wars. If it runs well, I'll turn it into a kit so that you can upgrade your own blaster. Until then, stay tuned for more in-depth videos, as well as the open source release of everything involved in this project. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think. Invite me to your wars. Subscribe if you like. And if I see you on the battlefield, I've got you in my sights. I love the smell of foam munitions in the morning.